man. It's an honor tonight. Now, don't count these minutes against me while I'm elaborating. That ain't about preaching. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. It's good to be in fellowship and uh, appreciate the invitation tonight to minister and uh, see friends. Hallelujah. Family of God. I don't know about you, but the family of God is the best family I have. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. 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 I love my natural family. There's something about the household of faith. Yes. Amen. Amen. Dear Lord, you carry superiority. Hallelujah. You know, we used to sing years ago, if mama don't go, I'm going on. Uh -huh. Daddy yeah. don't go, I'm going on. Sometimes we're put to the test on that. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you really mean that or not. It's true. You ran well, but who did hinder you? Come on. Come on. I hear you guys. It's good to, good to see my good friends, uh, Brother Mac already mentioned, but uh, Kim and Jason from Votal. Uh, Votal's, well, it's out there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> they got a wonderful church, so great, great folks just loving God. You know, I, I tell you, I, I'm preaching all over the country, but I don't preach in many big cities. And uh, country folks is just a special place. Amen. 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 I believe that God's got a church in rural America. Uh -huh. yes. Amen. It goes unnoticed a lot of times. Come on. Yes, sir. In the age of uh, mega churches and mega ministries, and they have their place. But I ain't in that place. Somebody asked me the other day, you been in any big cities? I said, honey, I've been in every big city in America. And they're all the same. Big buildings and concrete. Yeah. Yeah. And too many people. I don't like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and when can I get out of this place? <laughs> Hallelujah. God. I, I don't have, I'm old and I don't have the patience I used to have. And I don't like sitting still in traffic. <laughs> Amen. When you when you dead steal on interstate, you find out how much Holy Ghost you got. Come on. Yeah, come on. <laughs> yes, or you don't have. Amen. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Praise God. I tell you, this Holy Ghost thing is real, it's genuine. Yeah. But I found out a lot of people ain't got what they said they had. Come on. They got it in church, but when they get out of church, they ain't got it. Come on, come on now. Come on, man. He said he'll lead you and guide you. Uh -huh. But people do some stupid stuff. Come on. Amen, brother. Come I on. told my mother-in-law before I left, I said, that stuff like that right there. It's on the phone with some people. I said, stuff like that right there makes me want to be a Baptist. I'm going to tell you. It's <laughs> good off the people as nutty as fruitcakes. <laughs> Talk about they got the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues and pull the stupidest stunts. Come on. Come on, Come on man. Amen. Feed up nobody. Just <laughs> praise God. I'm glad I'm saved. I'm glad I do have the Holy Ghost, and I thank God I speak in tongues more than y'all do. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I'm glad for that tongue talking thing. Amen. Because when I don't know how to pray, He just talks for me. Yeah. <laughs> talk for you. That's right. Make intercession for you. Amen. Amen. Glory yeah. to God. God must have thought I got a bunch of ignorant people, so I got to give them a language they don't even know they're saying. <laughs> Glory to God. Oh, yeah. It's wonderful to be saved tonight. Yes, it is. If I wasn't saved tonight, I'd be getting saved as quick as I could. Come on. I'd be getting saved as quick as I could. Good to see my good friend, Brother Ricky Smith. Many of you know Brother Rick, and he used to evangelize me. Burnt the plow on that, burnt the ox, and burnt the plow, and got him a church. Amen. Amen. Praise God. <clears throat> Appreciate Brother Rick and Sister Terry. Good friends for years. Growed up together. Hallelujah to God. And Kay, you got looked around tonight, and I said, this church reminds us of Lone Pine. He said, I was thinking the same thing. That's where we went to church at, Lone Pine Church. Smaller than this building, really. But we stacked sometimes 80, 100 people in there. All standing up like sardines, shouting. <laughs> it's unbelievable what people used to do. Oh, hallelujah. Had a piano in the corner with a big old back on it. Didn't have a string on it until <laughs> We had church. My God, they'd have church. They didn't have church to Irene lost her bobby pins. Yeah. Uh -huh. Come on. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> 
How many knows about that? Amen. 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 Glory to God. Yeah. Well, I got 28 minutes. Hallelujah. Here we go. <laughs> Brother Max said, You got a new shout? I said, I don't know. We might. He said, I'm going to work on one. He said, When you come, we're going to shout together. So I ain't going to tell what you're going to see. <laughs> Glory to God. Mm. Glory. Praise you, Jesus. I want to turn to Deuteronomy chapter 28 tonight. Come on. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Familiar, familiar scripture, I guess. You know, it's amazing to me how people say, I don't like that Old Testament. But then they want to drag out Deuteronomy 28. And say, I live by that. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. We're going to read some of it. I usually don't read this much, but I'm going to read a few verses of Scripture. And, and uh, Deuteronomy 28, we're going to start with number one. Uh, read a few verses of Scripture. It shall come to pass, mm -hmm. if you hearken diligently, come on. listen good, to the voice of the Lord and observe and do all His commandments, that I command thee this day, the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Come on. If you do what he tells you. Yeah. That's right. What's so complicated about living for God? Right. Right. Just do it. It ain't a complicated matter. Mm -mm. Yeah. So it sure is hard living for God. And you're trying living for the devil. Come on. Thank you, the way of the transgressor is hard. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Then he said, all these blessings shall come on you and overtake you. Come on. God going to chase you down <laughs> and overtake you if you shall hearken to the voice of the Lord. Lord. Blessed shall you be in the city and blessed shall you be in the field. Come on. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body, the fruit of the ground, the fruit of the cattle, the increase of thy kind, your flocks of the sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shall thou be when thou come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. <laughs> blessed coming and going. The Lord shall cause thy enemies to rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way, but flee seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in the storehouse. That's right. All you pastors, hear that. Right. He shall command the blessing on thee in thy storehouse. Bring thy tithes and where? Go on now. And in all that thou setst thy hand to do, he shall bless thee in the land that the Lord thy God giveth thee. Come on. The Lord shall establish thee a holy people yes. unto himself as he has sworn if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord God and walk in his ways. Come on. Yes. All the people of the earth shall set, shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord and they shall be afraid of thee. Oh. And he knows there's afraid of Israel. They was afraid of Israel. Yes. We heard about you. Uh -huh, come on. Time the devil start hearing about you. Come on, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come on brother. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods. That's right. In the fruit of your body, fruit of your cattle, fruit of the ground, in the land that the Lord swear unto thy fathers to give. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure to heaven to rain. To give rain unto thy land in season. How many knows rain's a blessing? Yes. Yes. Gives rain in his season and bless all the work of your hands. Bless all the work of your hands and thou shalt lend to many nations and thou shalt not borrow. Come on. Thou shalt lend to many nations and shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. Glory. Yeah. And you shall be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. Yes. If thou hearken to the commandments of the Lord, which I command thee this day to observe and to do them. Amen. Amen. How many wants to be blessed? Amen. Now I understand that Moses was reiterating God's law the second time to the children of Israel, 
But I read in Peter today, I think it's 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 9, if I'm not mistaken. I ain't real good about remembering where that stuff comes from, but I know what side of the page it's on. <laughs> Hallelujah. And he said, Thou art a holy people, a holy nation, a chosen generation, a peculiar people. That has been called out of darkness into his marvelous light to show forth the praises of God. Yes. And the next verse says, which were not a people. Come on. So that let me know that he's talking to me. Yeah. Right. It was not a people because I ain't got no Jew blood in me. Come on, huh? I'm not going to elaborate on all that, but which were not a people, but are now the people of God. Right. And which did not have mercy, but now have obtained yeah. mercy. Yeah. That's where we are tonight. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So that which he promised to Israel is what he promised to us. Yeah. Which were not a people, but are now the people of God. Right. Because we've been grafted in by faith. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. shall so become a part. Glory to God. But I want to preach tonight from verse 13 for a few minutes. The Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. Hallelujah. Thou shalt be above and not beneath. Come on. I, I, I think that sometimes we need to change our mentality and our way of thinking. Come on. Amen. Yeah. I think sometimes we need a mind check. That's right. So you know, you, you know, uh, most of us here, old, young, whatever. Uh, uh, we growed up poor. We didn't have nothing. Some of you come through the depression or your parents and you're, ha you're hanging on to every little thing and, a, and, and, and our mentality is, is and my wife called her dad the other day and he only to take him to lunch. I can't go. I'm canning up stuff and doing something and others. She said, Dad, it costs you more to can up than what you, what you can buy, what, what you're canning up. Ain't nothing wrong with canning. Please don't misunderstand me. But I'm talking about a man got enough groceries to feed Custard's army. <laughs> he got enough to last if the Great Depression come again. He'd survive it. I'm gonna tell you. He got stuff got mold all over the top of it that I ain't gonna eat. I'm looking for a, I'm looking for a raven to bring me a Mac, Big Mac or something. Come on. But I think sometimes we. We, we, we have made ourselves less than what God makes us. Yeah. I think sometimes that we make ourselves less than what God has ordained for us to be. Oh, Y'all stay on, with me yeah. tonight. On, I ain't on. out there on no new fang dangled stuff and all that stuff. I'm the same old me, but I want to tell you something tonight. And then there were some men come to try to cast out some devils one time, and the devil said, I know who Jesus is, and I know who Paul is, but who are you? And they didn't know who they were. Come on. See, we need to know who we are. Right. And then I heard the brother say, Jesus died, yeah. and if he would have died, if he would only died for me, if he would, he would have died only for me. On, so man. that lets me know that it, 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 if I'm so valuable that Jesus laid down his life oh, for me, yeah. then I'm worth a whole lot more than what I give myself credit yeah. for. Yeah. I'm not here to toot no horns, blow no whistles, uh, uplift. I don't want you to walk out here with your chest stuck out like you're on the rooster on the yard and, and you you the only thing going, you're the only hen that can lay an egg. Uh, I don't, it, it's a thin line between exaltation and lifting up yourself. But you, Knowing who you are. Oh, yeah. and, and when you get a revelation of the word, you see that word right there is just a book. And it don't mean anything. It don't help nobody until they get a revelation of that word. Yeah. And when that word comes alive yeah. off these pages yeah. and it gets in your spirit. Yeah. I know it's the Bible. It's the number one selling book in the world. But it don't work for non-believers. Right. But if you, if you get a revelation of that word, Jesus said, Peter, flesh and blood, then show you this, uh, but it's been revealed unto you by the Spirit. And so we need a revelation from God uh, that who we are in the kingdom of God. He said, I will make you the head. Come on. I'm going to make you the head. Let me read you something here for a minute. I'll make you the head. The word head means captain, chief, high priest. I will make you a chosen generation. I see it. A royal priesthood. Come on. Can I tell you, Prince Charles ain't got nothing on me tonight? He don't impress me. His kids don't impress me. His wives don't impress me. His bulls don't impress me. His pitley don't impress me. Because I know who I am. Principal ruler, the first, the one on top, the 
forth front and the excellent. Come on, and let me go on and take the word above means to be overhead, on top, and higher than any other. Yeah. He said, I will make you the head. God is talking to his people and said, I will make you the head. I will make you. We preach it a lot and we write songs about it and we sing it and we testify it, but do we really live it out? Do now. we live it out in this Come world? Jesus now. said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, He said, I'm going to make you the head. And all nations are going to look at you and they're going to be afraid of you. When you come in, when, when Samuel showed up at Jesse's house, they started talking about, are you coming in peace? Are you coming? Oh, hallelujah to God. Are you the one when Elijah showed up, they said, are you the one that causes trouble to Israel? Amen. Our testimony, our life, I will make you the head. We walk around like you listen to the old time Pentecostals. We used to live across the tracks. Our church was all across the tracks. Uh, amen. We were illiterate. Uh, we were ignorant and unlearned. We like to brag on that fact. Uh, don't shout me down now. Uh, we like people to know that we didn't know nothing. We're just ignorant and we're just tongue talkers. Uh, and we're just pilgrims and strangers passing through this world. Uh, but I gotta let you know tonight. You need to know who you are. Uh, David said, I am marvelously and wonderfully made. Uh, I am created in his likeness and in his image. I, if I'm an heir to God, I'm a joint heir with Christ. I'm equal relationship here with Jesus. He has made me, oh, hallelujah to God. He said, I have power, and I'm going to give that same power to you. I'm going to make you the head. I'm going to make you on top. I'm going to give you power over all the power of the enemy. Oh, he said, you, the head is the salt of this earth. Do you understand that tonight? Do we not understand? Understand that the church is the most valuable possession on this planet. It ain't the diamonds on your fingers. It ain't the degrees on your wall. Amen. The church is the most valuable thing on planet Earth. There's nothing any greater. Who is the church? Can I surprise you? So Sam, you are the church. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord acknowledge I'm blood I'm spirit filled Greater is he that lives in me Than he that lives in the world I'm more than just a pilgrim Passing through I know I'm headed to heaven But on my journey brother Matt I'm going to be Something in this earth You read that I was reading that today and I just, You read that and you read over your life I'm the head, not the tail. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on. Hello. Come on. Thank you. I mean, you, let's be honest. <coughs> Confession's good for the soul. Uh -huh. You read it, and you just read through it, and you see, they don't, they don't get you. Uh -huh. Well, see, that's the way the Bible is. It's a living word. That's right. Yeah. People tell me I've read that Bible from cover to cover. I've read it about forty times, cover to cover, and I still don't know it all. No. Uh -huh. Come on. I read it every year. Yeah. Hey, you, you, you don't get it all. You don't. No. It's a living word. It comes yeah. alive in your spirit. And you, yeah. you can read you can read this and you can read it over and over and over. But one day it'll jump off them pages. It's going to jump in your spirit. You're saying, hey, God, who am I? I'm marvelously and wonderful. Yeah. I'm better looking than I thought it was. I'm smarter than I thought it was. I got a revelation. I'm not the devil's doormat. But I'm a child of the Most High God. He came to this earth and he died just for me. And then the word of God says we are precious jewels in the hand of God. More precious than gold and silver. Hallelujah. We are important to God. God can do anything he wants to do, but he uses people. He operates through people. He works through people like you and I. He takes those, amen, the Bible said those that seem to be feeble and less honorable are more honorable. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Less honorable are more honorable. Why? Yeah. Because he makes you the head. He makes you above. Come on. Don't, don't, don't get exalted, but just walk in humility. Amen. He said, he said to David, I took you, I took you. From the sheep coat yeah. to the kingdom. Yeah. I took you from the sheep coat. 
I took you from the youngest. I took you from the nobody. I took you from smelling like sheep. I took you from a shepherd's field on the hillside of Bethlehem to the palace of Jerusalem. I took you to the president's place. Somebody on here said, how can God do that? Because he said, I'm going to make you the head. I will exalt you and I will exalt. Said Israel, I'm going to bless you. It ain't nothing nobody can do about it. Everything your hands do, I'm going to bless. Does that mean you won't ever have any problems? Does that we, we preach it over like many of the afflictions of the righteous. I'm going through. Help me, oh God. Listen, we're going to have troubles. Born of Job, Job said, born of a woman a few days in a lot of trouble. So life has trouble. But if there's a difference between the head. The head, you have problems. You have difficulties. But you don't live there. Your life don't be there always. You're just going to go through because the Lord is going to deliver us out of it. And then when the enemy comes one way, God's going to confuse him. And he's going to lead seven different directions. Why? Because you're the head. And the devil don't like you. But the devil can't do nothing with you because you're the head. You don't get shook up when things go wrong. You don't blurt out cussing when things don't go your way. You don't throw things when things don't go your way. Way. And then you just stand and see the salvation of God. I don't understand, but I'm the head. I can't help it. I'm the head. Hallelujah. You're not giving me many preaching engagements, but I'm still the head. If I never preach another meeting, I'm still the head. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. I said I'm still the head. That's yes. right. Come on. Paul the Apostle said, if I'm going to brag, I ain't got much to brag about myself. But if I boast, I boast not of myself, but I boast in the Lord. Glory. And by the grace of God, I am what I am. Yeah. And then he wrote the Lord and said, I don't know about these other fellows, but I have labored more than all of them. I have done yeah. more than all of them. I put my hand to the plow and ain't look back. And I am persuaded. Yeah. Ain't nothing going to move me from the love of God. Because I'm a prisoner of the Lord Jesus Christ. In other words, he took me from the tail wow. and made me the head oh, and now I walk oh, above yeah. and I walk in that sort of sea. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Excellent Thank you, Lord. principal ruler on top. Come on. On top. Amen. I've been on the bottom. Hallelujah. I prefer the top. Yes. Yes. My good preacher friend going on to be with Jesus, Carl Taylor, used to tell me I've been fat and I've been thin and fat. Where it's at. <laughs> I've been the tail, I've been the head, and I prefer the head. Come on, man. Oh, that's oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank Hallelujah you. to God. I prefer having a little money in my pocket over being broke. Right. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. That's right. I got two, eight, I got one, six. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah to God. We preach against all the television preachers because they preach about money. And then we gripe and complain because we ain't got none. <laughs> Come on, man. That's hypocrisy. Come on. Come on. That's the truth. That's right. Uh, how true. How true. Let me get back up here and hide behind this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the head. The head said, I'll make you the lender and not the borrower. Yeah. The head said, I'll make you the lender and not the borrower. And then when we lend, not expecting a return, but if people don't pay it back because of poorness or struggling or whatever, then we get mad. And we want God to keep us to be the head, but we don't know how to deal with that because they didn't pay me back and they this and they that. Somebody ought to help me right now. I'm the head. And God said, I'm going to cause you to lend to all of me. I'm going to call you. Yeah. You know what? Uh, America's got our problems. Uh, and America's got all kinds of sin. And we have all kinds of, but we're still the number one nation in the world yeah. that puts this gospel uh, and puts more missionaries uh, and feeds more hungry people. Uh, and we're at the rescue of every natural world disaster. Uh, and I still believe God said, I bless you going out. Uh, and I bless you coming in. Because I made you the head. Uh, and the devil's going to know. Uh, and the heathen's going to know uh, if my church uh, is still the head. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, 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 o
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all right. I had all kinds of problems in the church. We had six men out of our church that went to prison. You know, church is supposed to help people get out of prison. We sent ours. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Six men out of our church. Eight many churches got that kind of testimony. Six men out of our church went to TDC. Come on now. Live 50 years, 30 years, four, five years, whatever. And every time that would happen, the devil slaps you around. Yeah. Uh, That's right. Yes, sir. Makes you feel like you ain't doing nothing. Uh -huh. Can't even keep folks straightened out. Come on now. Come on, brother. <laughs> right in the middle of all that, mm -hmm. a few years ago, God reached into a most unlikeliest fellow's heart. He picked him up and he come to me one day crying and said, God, it's called me to prison ministry. I ain't slept all night. And all I heard was Matthew saying I was in prison. You didn't come see me. And he said, I'm going to start a prison ministry. And so I hooked him up with Smith County Jail and and then I hooked in, then the doors started opening. You see, when you're the head, he'll open doors, can't no man shut. Woo, come on, when you're the head, he opens, and he closes the doors he don't want you to get into. He opens and he closes. Oh, hallelujah to God. And today I had lunch with this fella. And in five years, he's missed one Sunday in five years. Going to the prison system in five years. And you know what faithfulness the Lord has been in the prison that a con knows a con. And they see him because he's been there and been there. And then the warden got on his side. God, when you're the head, he'll cause your enemies to be at peace with you. That's what that's what being the head is. Come on now, come on. Hallelujah. You find favor, and the warden has him start a Bible class. On Tuesday night, and he started a Bible class with about 20 men. And last Tuesday night, they had 108. Come and come sit in Bible class just learning the Word of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. On Sunday, he's got 600 sometimes. Hey, Amen. It just started out with you because when I make you the head, I'll bless you in, I'll bless you out. Yeah. And whatever you put your hands to, I'll bless it. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Divine favor. When you're the head, it gives you divine favor. That's right. Yeah. Amen. When, you, when you're the head, it gives you divine favor. God, 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 God. We, we, we don't really deserve all the stuff he does for us. That's right. Oh, that's true. That's true. Oh, that's Absolutely. true. But he did say, if you'll do these things I ask you to do, Come on. I'll bless you. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Yeah. If you'll keep my commandments and just love your neighbors, love them yourself. Uh -huh. Love God with all your heart, soul, mind, body, right. strength. Amen. If you do those things, I'll bless you. I'll bless you. Yes. And all people's going to call you blessed. Amen. Okay, Amen. I'm off of the head now. Here we go. Uh -huh. Thank you. I will make you the head and not the tail. Glory. I prefer the head. Yes, amen. Because the tail... Is the rear end. Yeah. Amen. The hind part. Uh -huh. The bottom. The last part. The inferior part of anything. Uh -huh. yeah. And then beneath is downward, below, less, underneath, and very low. I will make you the head and not the tail. Glory yeah. to God. Hallelujah. Isaiah said the prophet that prophesies lies is the tail. Mm -hmm. The psalmist said, there ain't many scriptures on this, because I think most people know what the tail is. The psalmist said, God will make his enemies as dung. Uh -huh. yeah. Dung comes from the tail. Yeah. yeah. Don't shout me down now. We'll get down where we live at now. I prefer the head over the tail because the tail stinks. Come on. Come on. Come on, Brick. I ain't never heard such as that. Well, I got this right out of King James Version. Come on, brother. Amen. Some of y'all act like we're so holy you can't even read the word of God. Come on. Come on now. Some of you preachers are so holy you never preach out of Solomon. Come on, 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 come on now. Kids doing everything in the world except holy things. Come on. We're scared to death to touch it. Come, come on, on. Amen. come on. Amen. Tell the truth. Oh, we didn't talk like that when I was growing up. Well, you done grown. You need to start talking like that. Come on now. Come on. They need to learn to 
learning in the house of God. They need to learn it in your house. They need to be taught about the birds and the bees in the house. That's right, amen. That's true. I'm to tell you something you ain't never even heard of. Oh, my God. That's the truth, brother. Yeah. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, brother. If you read on in that chapter, there's about 45 verses that counteracts the 14. Uh -huh. Three times as much cursing uh -huh. as there is blessing. Yeah, That's right. But the blessing three times outweighs the cursing. Yes. yes. You see, when you're blessed, he can't curse what is blessed. When on down there, you keep on reading, he talks about all these Things are going to come upon you if you don't live right and don't talk right and don't walk right and don't do right. All these curses are going to come upon you. Uh -huh. You're going to be, and, and then he went on to say, you will be made the tail and not the head. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. He, he said, if you do what I tell you, I'm going to make you the head. Uh -huh. I'm going to make you blessed. I'm going to make you uh -huh. prosperous. Yeah. And your enemies are going to hate you and people ain't going to like you. But they can't stop you. Uh -huh. You're going to hurt uh -huh. you. When Joshua showed up to Jericho and when he sent out the spies, they brought back the message that they got heard about us. And we know about you people. We know what your God does. And then if you just live for God, he'll show up. And he'll show out. He'll demonstrate his power. He'll demonstrate his anointing. He'll demonstrate that he's God. He will let the heathen that he's God Almighty. And his church is the head of this earth and not the tail. Some people just like the wagon tail. Come on. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Watch out, man. <laughs> See, you shouldn't do like that. Half of you go home and watch Dancing with the Stars. Oh, oh no. Come on, Brady. Come on. Come on, Brady. Don't shout me down now. Come on. Come on. Glory. Well, that went over like a lead balloon. I just can't believe they'll do stuff like that in church. Glory. You'll make your enemies as dung. A fella come to me and a fella come to me and he said, he said to me, he said, I need to know your opinion about about the degrees of hell. Torture chambers of hell. I said, I ain't got one. Come on. You bro. mean you don't have a, you're the pastor, you ain't got a, an idea? I said, sir, don't plan on going there, don't care what they do. That's right, brother. <laughs> Good answer. That's right, brother. <laughs> Go ahead. You having a problem showing up at church on Sunday? You uh, having a problem paying your tithes? You on. having a problem being faithful come to God? You having a problem staying off that dope smoking stuff? You got all kinds of problems. You're worried about degrees of hell. What you need to worry about is being made the head. Yeah. 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 And don't give me pounds. You can get all of those things. I don't like being the tail. I, I once was a tail. I don't like being a tail. Come and on. I ain't going to be the tail no more. Because I find it better uh, being the head. Yeah. Walking Woo. in the blessing of God. So say, give me more minutes I got. Oh, Lord, I know what passed. <laughs> you ready to shout? I was in a black church one time, and they was all dancing, and the pastor said, hold the music, hold the music. And they quit playing the music. He said, my God, I don't need no music to shout. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Yeah. Glory to God. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to wind it down and say, here's what Paul said. If I want to brag, I can brag on. I'm, I'm a born Jew of the tribe of Benjamin. Thank you. That's right. Concerning religion, I have more zeal than they all. Hello. I'm a Pharisee of Pharisees. Yeah. Why don't you just love to get around Pharisee people? Yeah. Come on. They put burdens on you. You can't even bear. They can't bear themselves. Right. Right. I fast twice a week. Yeah. Pay tithes more than anybody else. Come on now. Jesus hated Pharisee religion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on. 
Yes, you know why? Because he got Paul out of it. Uh, well, right. amen's got worth $100 a piece right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Paul said, I'm a Pharisee of Pharisees. Yes. I'm a Jew by blood, mm. born of the tribe of Benjamin. Uh -huh. Concerning yeah. zeal, I had more zeal than all of you put together. Right. Uh -huh. I persecuted the church to the killing of innocent women and children. Putting pregnant women and letting them be eat up with my ravenous beasts, full, starving to death. Hungry lions. I cast innocent people. I stood and watched them stone Stephen to death and laughed at it. But all this I've done in ignorance. And all that I've done for myself, I counted as lost tonight. All that I've done for myself, I counted as lost. And I count it as but dumb. Count it as but dumb. Amen. Amen. Count everything I've ever done just dumb. Count all my aspirations and all my dreams and all my hopes and all of everything until he brought me from that tail relationship. You know, that, that, that's dumb. It's refuse. Excrement. It's what goes down the toilet. It's what you throw away. It's what you don't want to have no part. You don't even like stepping in it no more. Somebody ought to help me out. You don't like getting it on your hands. You don't like getting it. Come on, man. Oh, Amen. Oh, Amen. Oh, it's, it's a true story it happened to me. Uh -oh. I ain't never told this in church. Here it goes. Uh -oh. Robbie would die, but I'm going to tell you. <laughs> we was at Ryan's eating lunch. And I had to go to the restaurant. And I'm in a stall. And I heard this voice say, Ooh, it's bad when you get it all over you. This ain't good. And I'm thinking, I need to hurry and get out of here. This ain't good when you get it all over you. This is really bad. Oh, Lord, I'm in here with a nut. I got out. I'm washing my hands. <laughs> oh, man. Glory. Oh, my. The stall door opens. Oh, and this big old man walks out with a little baby. Oh, my. Little changing a diaper. <laughs> but this ain't good. When it gets all over you. Uh -huh. This ain't good when it gets all over you. This ain't good when it gets all over you. I'd rather be the head tonight than be the tail or the stick and the excrement and the refuse in my old life. What I once was, I ain't no more. Paul said I've been resurrected. I've been transformed from a world of darkness. I used to live in that tail. I used to be in that tail. I used to walk in that tail. But I've been transformed. Well, I'm back to his marvelous life. Now I walk in the head. Hallelujah. A 14 year old girl. I, I ain't a whole lot of things happening in our ministry besides me just encouraging folks. That's about all I know. People ask me all the time how hey, many got saved. I ain't got a clue. I just preach and whatever people need, God does. And, and uh, I don't keep numbers. I, you know, it's. One plants, one waters. God gives the increase. That's right. I, I can't keep up with that because I didn't invite none of them. I just showed up and preached. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. A little girl, 14 years old, walked to me. Ever past, everybody was gone, me and the pastor. Tears rolling down her face. She said, Preacher, I just want to tell you. It's the first message I've ever heard that makes me want to live for God. It makes me, Brother Tommy, want to live for God. Oh, glory to oh, God. Yeah. I'd rather be the head yeah. than the tail. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I preached a sermon the other night on one word. Never preached that before. David behaved himself. Four times that verse is written in one chapter in Samuel. And Saul saw him, and the Lord was with him, and Saul feared him. Because he behaved himself. 
Yes, yes, yes. God. I preached on that. Just behave yourself. Mm-hmm. There was a young man there. Actually, he's 48 years old. I've known him since he was he was a witness at my me and my wife's wedding. He was about eight years old. When I got through preaching, shook his hand. He said, Two nights later, he called me and he said, Brother Leon, I had to call you. He said, you said you didn't know why you was preaching that message. I never preached it before. Just behave yourself. I ain't no real revival message, you know. It's so simple. Just quit acting crazy and just behave yourself. <laughs> he said, I, I, I ain't behaved since I was 10 years old. He mm. said, I've been a heathen. I've done all kinds of crazy stuff. I've done everything crazy. Drugs, alcohol, women. I've done it all, he said. He said that word ain't left my spirit for three days. Mm. He said I'm going to start behaving myself. He said I went home and asked God to give me a job. I've been applying for and didn't look like there's any hope I'd get it. But I told God I'd behave if you'd help me. If you'll do what I tell you, I'll bless you. Hello. I didn't write the book. That's just what it says. Right. Amen. If you don't do what I tell you, you're going to smell like the tail, act like the tail, look like the tail. You must be the tail. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. 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 He said, when I get paid, I'm going to start paying you my tithes. I don't have no home church. I said, well, will you find a home church? God will bless you. He said, until then, I said, praise God. Say, I'm okay, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, I just want to encourage you. You're the head. Come on, brother. Amen. Church, Amen. you're the head. Yes. Know who you are. Yes. I'm blessed regardless of my situation. That's right. That's right. Two copper pennies to rub together. I'm blessed and the devil can't do nothing about it. Amen, Amen. Amen. brother. Hallelujah to God. Praise the Lord. Amen. My home's blessed. Yes. My house is blessed. Oh, God. My family's blessed. Yes. Amen. My Hallelujah. car's blessed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The church is blessed. Yes. My kids are blessed because yes. I'm the head. And not the tail. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right, amen. Yeah, amen, brother. And you that were not a people are now the people of God. Amen. You didn't have any mercy, He gave it to us. He right. said, so Now I'm going to make you the head. Oh, hallelujah. Not the tail, just yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Oh, hallelujah. You think that's kind of funny, but I'm going to tell you spiritually, I don't want no dung on my feet. Amen. Right. It's awful when He gets on me. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Yes. It's bad when he gets on you. Don't yes. like it on me. Don't want it on me. Don't smell good. Don't look good. Don't taste good. I, some of y'all are thinking, I never heard of such. I just can't believe that. He preach such a stuff. I got that King James Version. Is anybody in the sanctuary? I know we can't all gather around up here. Ain't no room in here like sardines right now. Does anybody in here tonight want to raise your hands? I just need prayer tonight. You know what I prayed this afternoon? I, I, I was praying. And I said, Lord, help me change the mentality of men. Help me bring the word of God that will change the mentality of men. I'm tired of being on the tail end. The beneath, the below, the underneath. He said, I will set you above. I will put you on high. Amen. He said, he, he said, Israel, I brought you out on eagle's wings, not buzzard wings. I brought you out on eagle's wings. I brought you out on eagle's wings. God of heaven, change our mentality. We might know who we are. We are wonderfully and marvelously made in Christ. You died for us. We must be of some value for you to lay down your life for this church. We must be of some value, oh God. We must be of some value for you to give your whole life, to take a beat of life and give your life for this body of believers for Christ church you're the head and we're the body oh God hallelujah we bless you tonight we glory does anybody want any special prayer we will open up for that anybody here don't know Jesus he'll move you from that low place he'll move you from that low place the psalmist describing a horrible pit I was in a horrible pit. I was in a bad place. He brought me up and set my feet on a solid rock. 